This is Ian, developed at E-Yantra IIT Bombay uh, during summer internship program. So this was developed with a motive of teaching students uh, control system algorithms. Uh, so students can actually learn control systems algorithms uh, practically like PID tuning. We have implemented cascade PID tuning into this bot. Uh, we can tune the bot wirelessly with, uh, with the help of uh, phone directly. So the components used in the bot are uh, like ESP32 microcontroller uh, and 20 motors LiPo battery. Uh, so the bot is very portable that you can carry it anywhere and you can also charge it uh, with the help of C type cable uh, by using your mobile adapter. So for charging this bot, uh, you have to just uh, insert your C type cable and then turn on the switch. After turning on the switch, one red LED will glow and then uh, the charging process will start. So there is a switch behind the bot. We have to turn the switch on and keep the bot perfectly straight and just leave the bot. It will start balancing on its own. Just make sure that you don't leave the bot tilted. So once the bot starts balancing, connect your Wi-Fi to Ian's Wi-Fi named with Ian. The password is 12345678. Ensure your mobile data is turned off. And just go to your Chrome browser and type IP address to connect with Ian's web page. Yeah, the IP address is mentioned in user manual. Once the page gets loaded, there are four options controller, tuning, about, credit. In controller page, you can actually translate the bot with the help of these buttons. In tuning page, you can tune the PID of the bot. There are six sliders. In about page, there is a user guide, specifications and information regarding the pages and credit page is this. So this is tuning page. There are two buttons and six sliders. So first three sliders are for tuning pitch of the bot. This is KP4 post, K KI4 post and KD4 post. So for sending the gains in the bot, you have to press the save button I means suppose you update slider so after updating the slider the values will stay in your page not in the bot so for sending the values in the bot you have to press save button then the bot will react to your change suppose if you by mistakely uh, moved any slider like this and you have to bring your old gains back then just press on reset and yes you will be back at your old games. So I will show you how to tune the bot. Now we have used cascade PID approach. So now if we increase KP for pitch, then the bot will become more aggressive. You can see like this. Okay. Now KD can be used to uh, damp these oscillations like this now it has got more smooth okay so this is this was for pitch pitch pid uh, now we will reset the old gains and similarly for post pid you can tune the bot like this if you increase the kp for post then the bot will uh, like try to uh, come fast to its original uh, position and it will get uh more rigid to this or this disturbance so you can find the uh, details about tuning in about page in how to tune section so while tuning uh if if your values go wrong and the bot like fails off like this okay now suppose it is not responding anymore if you try to keep it like this uh, it it will not balance because the encoder has uh, rotated a lot okay so then in this case you turn off the bot turn it on again hold it after you disconnect it just reconnect it again and reset the gains 
and then you will get your old gains back and now again restart your bot okay and then you can again start your tuning process just reload it yeah 